the sin is born in our heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for June the 11, 2020, according to St. Matthew. You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, that everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right heart causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to go into hell. It was also said, Whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you, that anyone who divorces his wife, except in the ground of unchastity, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. We have enemies, dear, dear brothers, we have enemies. That is the sense of the Old Testament when the Lord is talking about the war against the tribes that are contrary to God. We have the Philistines, which name goes to sadness, desperation. We have the Amorites, which I believe are the ones that cause us wrath. And so on and so on. But the Lord says, He commands that we should go in there assault their cities, and kill everyone, women and children. It's not that the God of the Old Testament was the savage God that wanted to have the blood of the innocents. But rather what he is telling us is that we should not allow any evil, a ground to grow in our hearts. That even when they are starting to sprout, we are to quell them. We are to kill them. Thus, if we were to be ascetic in our ways, then we would be able to fast and to refrain from meat and all other things as commanded by the Holy Church. Then it will be far difficult for the devil to enslave us as he does. Take for example today. Today you pick up your phone, your cell phone, you push there three times and there you're watching a full-fledged uh, pornography movie that will lead you to uh, become excited and masturbation or might lead you to call a friend and uh, do something worse, which the whole thing is just your own death. And that will also create a situation in your head where you might be sleeping and then you start dreaming, or you might be working and then you start seeing in your mind uh, the images that you have stored. And all of that leads to your own death. Because of pornography, because of all of this that we see, and pornography is not only explicit pornography, but also all the abuse that we use or that we uh, inflict on the female and male in terms of visual content. It amazes me and I, it, it really bothers me to see always semi-naked persons uh, peddling furniture, cars, uh, clothes, and stuff like that. And they know that if they have an attractive person there, there will be many people that just because they want to see that person, they will spend a couple of seconds looking at the item. And they're selling. 
with all of that is precisely the devil that is attacking you. If you are not aware of that, you will be always um, fought upon and be annihilated inside your own heart without a fight. And you will not enter heaven because the Lord himself today told us you have already committed adultery just in your heart. And now I would like also to point out something that is very, very important. A Roman brothers, the priest, and of course all the pastors like to say that as long as you don't actually do the thing, you are not even sinning. But they don't want to listen to what the Lord just said. It is sufficient for you to let your heart desire a woman or a man or whatever because nowadays you can even daydream with them with an object or an animal or whatever and that is enough for you to commit sin and to become dead you really want to go into hell or you want to go into heaven at least pray to God that he might enlighten your heart that he might help you to see the truth. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.